So, was told not to wash my hair for two days. So, this is the nastiness we have. Look at the underneath of my hair. Do you see how greasy and nasty that is? And my bangs are all separated because they won't, like, nicely flow together because they're nasty and clumpy. Whew. But I've been watching Brad Mondo. And... He said not to wash your hair. And then I asked a friend who gets her hair bleached, can I wash it the night before and not just before? She said, oh no, that will ruin your hair. Only wash it two nights before. So I washed it Saturday t night and today is Tuesday. <coughs> <coughs> so, but I feel disgusting. Um, I feel like I'm gonna walk, walk into, like, the hair place, and they're gonna be like, ew, her hair is disgusting. But, not only am I getting my hair bleached, and maybe turn gray today, maybe, I don't know, I'm getting my bangs trimmed, my ends trimmed, and fixing my eyebrow problem. Look at my eyebrows. Like, I know I have a cute natural arch, but this thing needs to be cleaned up. Like... I'm sorry to all the girls that are just like, just pluck them. I forget about it, and then there's too many hairs, and it's painful. Like, I could literally sit down and pluck all of this to make them look nice, but it's too painful. I can just get them waxed, and they can go, rah, and pluck a few hairs, and it's all good. My bangs bug me the most. I don't know if y'all noticed that I'm, like, looking at them. You probably can't tell because I'm looking at them in the camera. But, like, this side's really humpy. This side's really laying down. I didn't put straightener or anything in my hair because I didn't know what I needed to do for today. You can see that I still have some of that box dye down here. I just... Oh... I wish Brad Mondo could just do my hair, but I trust the person who's doing my hair. I've been going to this salon for, like, ever. And I don't know if I've been going to it for pretty much my whole life or not, but I know since I turned five, I've been going to this salon, I believe. I trust them. We know these people. Um... I just trust them. The girl that's doing my hair did my hair for homecoming and prom. So I'm like all for trusting her. Like do what you need. Just get it to the color I need. I'm willing to go in for two appointments. Really don't want to pay for two appointments. But I'm willing to do it. Now I'm not going to be videoing the process of them doing it. Number one because it's really awkward to hold my phone and be like. And their hands all through my hair doing whatever they need to do. Or like putting foils. I don't know what they need to do. Um, like. I just don't want to do that. So if I remember. And I can find all the videos. I'm going to take a video after this appointment. Whether. Or at some point. Because I have to go to work straight after the appointment. But like go and show you my hair before it goes all gray if I have to have two appointments and then show you it gray. Don't know if I'm going to tell them about my roots or not. I just don't want a balayage. I'd like for my roots to be blended but it only be blended to like here. I want the rest of my hair gray. But I don't know if you can do that and blend it decent enough. I just don't want a straight gray line across my bangs. But like, I don't know. They're the professionals. I can maybe explain or I just won't explain and be like, ooh, my hair looks like I've straightened it in the front. Ooh, uh, back's kind of janky. But like right here looks like I took the straightener and tried to shape it towards my face because I try to do that and I fail. <coughs> so that's fun I don't know why I just went hi um I'm really hoping we can go all gray today but I know that I have dark hair and 
I don't want them to like bleach it three and four times today if it's gonna damage my hair but I know they know what they're doing and they will do fine I trust them I don't trust one of them as much because I really wanted a haircut and they didn't tell me that it looked hideous on me. And it looked hideous on me. So, I had a soccer mom haircut that was up to here. It wasn't even to my chin. It was like up to here is how it laid when they styled it. It was hideous. Like, no joke, hideous. And one of them that I trusted the most cut my hair and let me do that to my hair. Now, with this color, I'm not going to ask them if another color looks good on me. Because if they say, like, I'd look good as a blonde, which I don't want to go blonde. Maybe somebody thinks I'll look good as a blonde. I might look good as a blonde. I'm telling people I don't. But that's only because 8th grade, I got blonde highlights, looked more blonde, and everyone made fun of me and called me a dumb blonde, and it upset me for some reason. I was fragile back then. Now I'd be like, yeah, I am kind of a little dumb. Don't think it has anything to do with the blonde, though. And move on with my life. I don't know. I'm worried. But I'm going to leave this video here for at least this part. And if I remember, I will add other parts in. I have no idea. Okay. Bye. I'm here. And I've got foils in my hair. This is really all I can say at this moment. Because I don't know when they'll come back. So, yeah. Bye. So this is the finished product. I've got my brown roots. They blended it in my bangs with my brown roots. Now it's not as dark as I thought it would be, but I'm not mad. Like, I feel like I look more blonde than gray, but it could just be the lighting I'm in and my glasses give me, like, a brownish tint, kind of like sunglasses, because it's glare protection. But I'm not mad with it. This is the video of my experience. That's really all. Y'all are great. Bye. I haven't posted the video yet. My cousin told me it looks like old lady gray. And now I feel like I look ugly. So I might be going back and getting it darker because now I see it as old lady gray. And like some lights, it doesn't even look gray. But like it is gray. I don't know if y'all can see. It is gray. But like some lights, it looks more yellow or blonde. So if I go back and get darker, I will make a video, but I have no idea, but right now I'm hating my hair and I hate that.